guys, welcome to Joe's RC Corner, and today we're going to be back on the Cricut again. Um, I've already started work on the plane, and I uh, got a little bit of work done. After the intro, I will show you what I got done. All right, guys, so uh, like I said, uh, we got some more work done here on the Cricut. We're going to continue working today. Uh, it's a beautiful day, beautiful temperatures, and uh, I do have some work to get done on here. Uh, so today we're starting to work on a little bit more of the panel, um, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera around and let you see. Okay, guys, so like I said, we're working on the panel, and uh, I went ahead and today, how do I go ahead and get in here? Yeah? So we went ahead and we finished up all of our screws here. So everything is now mounted uh, where it needs to be along here. Um, we do have the center console in here temporarily here right now. Um, and as you can see, there's a new panel right here. This has my cigarette lighter adapters and uh, the um, ELT is gonna be here. Um, and I'm gonna show you a little bit of, a, 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 somewhere in one of the corners here, uh, we'll have a uh, just a cut to a small CNC machine that I found on Amazon quite some time ago actually cut out some uh, parts for some other things uh, but able to cut out this uh, thin piece of aluminum very nicely and very precisely uh, even added in these holes uh, for the mountain and uh, got it cut out mounted and it's good to go now so we will be wiring up the ELT at some point uh, these when we start working on all of my electrical uh, so now I have four USB ports uh, to be able to charge iPads, iPhones, uh, anything of that sort, and any other power sources that we need 5 volts for. So that's going to work out great. And they take 12 volt in, which is what our system runs on. Uh, we do um, this whole panel here, though, I think I'm going to redo a little bit of this. I'm going to talk to uh, Jamie and see if he can't make me up a, uh, a little bit of a panel here to uh, accommodate what these items are on the switches so I can have those placard nicely um, and uh, that'll work out really good um, so other than that we got all the screws all done now um, I do have a little bit of trimming that I need to look at here uh, on this edge very little bit uh, this side's this side over here looks pretty good um, I think basically what happened is I got the panel a little bit tweaked here but that's okay we won't, gonna, won't be able to see that much once I get this trimmed down nice We'll get this painted and it'll blend in beautifully with everything else. So next steps are basically take this all apart. Uh, we're going to rivet the uh, support brackets for the uh, GPS and uh, we'll get all this primed and painted today. Uh, so that way next week we can come out and we'll just do final install of the panel itself and uh, start working on getting these switches and everything wired up. And uh, what I'm thinking about doing on those switches is maybe setting that up on like a plug uh you know put all these together into one plug and then uh everything will then plug in when if i have to do any maintenance on things um one uh one of you guys out there uh i don't remember who it was uh but i appreciate the comment here uh yes i agree um to prevent any of the arcing down here that i'm concerned about i may just take a piece of rubber uh, which I may have somewhere laying around and we'll slide it underneath it. Maybe the cork would work as well um, And then stick that to this panel that'll prevent any possibilities of arcing into the uh, panel here uh, So I think that should be fine. So we're gonna go ahead and work that out um, and uh, all of these uh, Riv nuts. Uh, there's a couple of them that are loose. So what I'm gonna do is take some Because uh, uh, this is really thin aluminum here uh, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take some uh, JB Weld and around each one of these uh, just add a little bit around them just to uh, help secure those in place because only one of them I believe was, uh, was kind of spinning on me. So I want to make sure that's not going to be an issue. Um, and then uh, this section here, I am going to be putting my iPad mount uh, on this side here. Uh, so I got to figure out how I'm going to do that. Uh, I do want to use my RAM mount setup, uh, but I do need to add a little bit of a support going across just to add a little bit of rigidity there, uh, and uh, we'll see how that works out. Uh, but yeah, that's will be coming up next. 
Um, like I said, all my wiring, I mentioned this in the last video, all my wiring now goes from the wings. They're all coming down this way and into the panel here on both sides, including my uh, airspeed sensor, uh, my pitot tube. Uh, also comes down through there. So we'll get that figured out. Let's see. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much where we are right now. Uh, once we have this panel back in place permanently, uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and start uh, routing and uh, wiring up everything in here. Nice and neat. And I think what I'm going to do is have most of my wires come up and around and then disperse to everything here. Um, I'm also going to put a... Uh, I do have a central hole somewhere over on this panel here. Uh, and I'm going to make that hole quite a bit bigger. Um, so that way all my wires can get fed back down through here. My ECU is still staying where it's at down here. That's still perfectly mounted and secured, soft mounted. Um, and then we'll start working this out. Getting all of the wires. Uh, so the interconnected wires from everything is are, are all done. They're all right here. It's just uh, got to take them all and clean them up and uh, then wrap them uh, nice and neat with some, uh, maybe some loom tube or something like this. Uh, I do have some twist wire tube as well. We'll get that all nicely uh, situated. Uh, but other than that, that's where we are. We're gonna keep working on this and uh, get that panel done, get it out, get it painted, and uh, get that reinstalled and uh, move on. So uh, here's the next step. All right, guys, so uh, thank you to uh, Jamie at Texas Precision Engraving. Uh, these fit perfectly. They look beautiful. Um, so I'll have all of this nicely done now. I also have my warning light installed here. We are still waiting on this paint to dry before we go ahead and add the uh, all the components here. Um, I will be doing a, a vinyl uh, in yellow with my end number here. And uh, above this statement, I might just do in vinyl the uh, pilot warning, and that'll look pretty nice. I like that. Uh, we'll work on getting the, uh, the rest of the components reinstalled, and then we'll be good to go. Now, inside the uh, cockpit area, uh, like I said, uh, we do have uh, the uh, new panel down here. I uh, think that looks pretty, pretty sharp there. And that'll give me my USB ports. And uh, then we have all the switches here. Now, I want to finalize everything here, but I think I'm going to have, uh, I've already reached out to uh, Jamie. And uh, we're going to uh, make up a uh, insert here that goes over all of this. I think that'll look really nice. Um, more or less just around this one. And because uh, this is now my wigwag and my light switch. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to relocate some of these items, uh, but as of right now, this is where everything goes. And uh, I'll take a picture and send it over to Jamie so we can get some measurements and uh, figure out how that will look. Now, uh, this panel is essentially the same as the panel that I get from Viking aircraft. Uh, so this is just Viking aircraft's uh, switch panel that goes here. Um, all of these would have been switches. These would have been circuit breakers. Um, however, I put all my switches here and all my circuit breakers are up here. Uh, so that, I like that layout. It's gonna look great. And uh, that's how that's gonna go. So we're gonna figure that one out and uh, I'll get with Jamie on that and figure out the best way of uh, setting that up. But uh, yeah, so getting one step closer. So uh, yeah, guys, so we're getting another step closer. Um, the panel is looking nice. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and finish up a few things on there. Let that dry. Then next week, we'll start putting the components back in place. That way we can get it back in the, uh, in the panel here. And then we can start working on all the wiring, feeding the wires to the correct items and getting that all completed. Once that's completed, guys, uh, that's a big step. Um, we'll get everything working again, uh, get the engine running again, and uh, get that panel back in place. Maybe we can start looking at getting the uh, windscreen finalized, uh, which actually finalized, 
glued in place uh, with that panel in place once and everything we know is working properly again. Uh, then we can start working on that elevator, uh, get that done, uh, fish the wires to the tail. Um, yeah, and then uh, getting a lot, a lot closer, guys. Uh, so we'll take a look at that and uh, we'll start working on those pieces, uh, getting all the, the finalizing, the wiring, and uh, getting everything hooked up. Um, almost all the wires are already brought up to the front. It's just a matter of getting them uh, connected and, 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 and everything. So I do need to get my flap servo uh, wire and back up to the front. That's the only one I believe I'm missing from the back end, but I'll have to double check that. But I believe that's the only thing missing. I already have all my sensors and everything. We do have to program everything and uh, then we'll kind of go from there. But uh, yeah, looking good, getting better on here. And uh, we're gonna start making this a normal thing. Uh, last week we did have two videos drop. This week will just be one video because I'm working on it on a Sunday. Uh, so we'll get that video out to you uh, by uh, Saturday, like I always do. And uh, next week we will continue working on that panel, get that in place and get the wiring done. And uh, maybe then we can start working on the elevator, get that finalized, get it rebuilt, get that servo installed. We also do need to get the servo installed on the uh, elevator or on the aileron. Um, but I do want to get uh, some people's uh, other people that have had that servo type uh, trim uh, is, is about right here is where I was thinking about doing it. Or should it go out on the aileron here? Uh, I figure I'd keep it centered uh, would work the best. But uh, I don't know. Does anybody else have this? I, I think. Um, Bill, uh, Fahey, uh, you have the, uh, the level uh, servo uh, trim autopilot. Let me know, uh, is that work? Where, where on the elevator does, or on, sorry, where on the aileron is the best location to put it? Let me know in the comments below or uh, send me a text, sir. Uh, thank you again, guys. Uh, that's pretty much it for today. It's starting to get warm um, and uh, we'll continue working uh, on the Cricut next week. Bye now.